guys, so today we obviously have the lion from The Wizard of Oz. Or basically, you could use this lion look for any kind of lion, because I know that my school has done at least <laughs> three shows in the past five years with lions in it, so. Um, so yeah, it's a lion look. <clears throat> this look I actually never actually put on, well, I put it on the actor once to show someone, but like, um, they had to change little things and add things, um, so I actually don't have very much experience with, like, putting the look on myself. I, this is the first time I put it on myself. Um, so there's some things that could be better, definitely. But there is the look in general. And, yeah. So I guess we'll just get into it. So, lion look. Mm. First I'm going to take uh, the cream foundation, Ben Nye cream foundation, in um, the shade tan. And I'm just going to take a paddle brush. And I'm just going to put this on the entire face. So that means the cheeks. And our, okay, down here I already drew using this um, contour color in the Ben Nye um, contour palette, this brown shade, and I used like a flat brush, and I kind of drew a line, like I smiled, and wherever um, that crease appears, I just trace it out, just to create the shape, just like that. So you'll see it'll end up like that. So create that shape. Um, and then you can uh, kind of just use the foundation and kind of draw around that, or fill it in outside of that. So onto the nose, cheeks. Use that line as kind of like a guide. Um, and this one you actually wouldn't really have to go onto the neck or anything because the actor kind of had like a, the costume all around the face, so it was literally just the face which is pretty convenient. So forehead. The the brows in The Wizard of Oz, the lion's brows, are actually like, if you see, they're like up, and they're like these tiny little things, and they're like this. They're like right here. Um, I do not have the supplies or to cover eyebrows, but if I did, I would probably cover the brows and draw in little eyebrows up there. So if you want to go full out like the movie, <laughs> then feel free to do that. Um, so... I doubt they would have had time to do that backstage, though, because um, the lion's makeup was done last out of all the characters, because everyone else had to go on stage first. So yeah, get your face that tan shade. You can go darker or lighter if you need to, whatever goes best with the costume. But this tan shade worked out really well with the costume of the actor. So yeah. So now I'm going to take the cream foundation in white by Van Nuys. And I'm just going to take a, a brush. I, I, they use sponges the entire time in the show, which is typical backstage, but I just don't have them here, so I'm just using brushes. So I'm just going to, like, stipple it on and fill in that, that area. See, I already did one half. You just fill it in with white. So you use the outline that you created and just fill it in with white. And there's kind of the tan goes below, too, so the white kind of stops halfway down the chin. So you just fill it in. Like so. And you can just use your finger to blend it as necessary. There you go. And I'm just going to go back into the tan just to clean that up a little bit. There you go. See that? And then I'm going to go back into that contour shade in the palette and just redefine that line a little bit using that brown contour shade. See like that? And then you can kind of take the line that you do and blend down, like blend into the tan, not the white, to kind of create like a little bit of a fade just so it's not quite so harsh of a line. And that is that. So next I'm going to take feline cool power pencil. Any black eyeliner, that will work. And I already drew um, this thing on in the middle of the lip, just like fill in the cupid's bow and go all the way up to the nose. And then I'm just going to draw the dots, like the little, like, you know, lion mane hair things. Just little dots. You can eyeball it, just draw dots. No precise art to it. Like that. <laughs> And this part is my worst. You're just going to draw on whiskers. Um, the, the girl that 
I assigned to do this look. She did really good, and she kind of did, like, short line, long line, short line, long line. Um, but I'm just really bad at this, so I'm just going to wing it, so. There you go. Yeah, see, it's more, she did more of like this than, than that, but I'm just really bad at this. But again, they don't need to be perfect because lion whiskers should never be perfect because they don't grow perfectly, so. As you can see, I'm being very messy and very terrible, so I apologize for that. But you get the idea, right? <clears throat> Draw some whiskers. I'm just really bad at this part. I'm sorry about that. If you want, you could actually just use the like a, a thin um, angled brush and draw them on, but it was just easier for us to use pencil because we didn't have the time, really. Um, and I'm actually just going to clean up a little bit. I'm going to take that tan foundation and that little angled brush and just clean up. So you just kind of have to judge it fix any major mistakes, but, you know, make it look natural, n natural, as in, like, don't make them, like, perfect lines, make, just make them look like line whiskers, pretty simple. So next, I'm going to take a little bit more of that white and that brush that I used and blend that onto the eyelid. Not too much, I used way too much on the other eye, and this stuff is just so creamy, I'm just going to blend it out. Same technique as, like, with um, NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. And then I'm going to take black check fluid line and an angled liner brush. Again, any kind of black gel liner. Any one that will particularly last. This one, it worked out well, but it needs to be able to last um, when the line's making expressions. So I'm just going to do um, like a winged liner. And on the inside, you kind of pull it in. It's Yeah, it's really, it's really unique. I'm like sorry for the lack of words there. I'm just really bad at this part. So do you see that? I did like a wing liner, and then it kind of goes in. And I don't know, like, just the effect that gives, it just kind of intensifies the look a little bit, because the line's, like, making expressions the whole time, so it kind of just intensifies it a little bit. And I did a really messy job, but I think you get the idea, because I just don't have the time, really. And then I'm going to take some more of that and put it on the waterline. I believe they used a pencil on the show, but... This is just easier. So yeah, just like that. And then I'm um, just going to put on some mascara. Mascara. Any old mascara will work. I'm just using a Clinique sample that I had. Yep. And then to finish since we've done pretty much everything else, are the lips. Yeah, we've pretty much done it. The lips, I'm going to use Tarde OCC Lip Tar. And it's going to look ridiculous. And I forgot a lip brush, so I'm just going to take that angled liner brush. I know, this is so gross, all these brushes that I'm using, but, you know, it's, it's stage makeup. you got to get a little bit dirty sometimes. Mmm. And there you go. And that is the lion look. So <laughs> I think it looks better from a distance because up close my lines, again, my whiskers. Sorry I'm bad at drawing whiskers and my winged line is a little bit messy, but, you know, that's the look. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you can use this in The Wizard of Oz or um, The Chronicles of Narnia, like anything that you need a lion for. 
This will kind of work. So, oh, I forgot in the nose, I just used black track fluid.